Ahoy everyone and welcome aboard. I'll be your Captain Hillian tonight along with... He is a mighty Drakir at your service. Uh, Lieutenant Drakir at your service. And welcome back to our ninth stream of Doom Eternal, second of the Ancient Gods DLC. And, uh... Yeah, uh... Hmm. I'm not sure if I should really uh, share a bit of news because I have some bad news, but I have also more positive news, at least. Uh, if you're on the Discord, then you already probably know. Hmm. Uh, I guess I know where this is going. Yeah, uh, I might as well share it then. Uh, I've on occasion talked about an old cat that we took into our home that was basically uh, abandoned on the streets. Uh, but yeah, they they have been going downhill in their uh, in their health rapidly, as in it fell off a damn cliff. So uh, yeah, with agreement from the previous owner, uh, because legally it's still their cat, uh, we have uh, set up a appointment tomorrow to well put her to sleep, since well she can hardly move, she can hardly eat, and well you can guess the effects of that. So yeah. <clears throat> Poor thing. It yeah. is old, though. Yeah. But at least we gave it a better life uh, than it would have had if it uh, kept on the street. Uh, if it was kept on the street, yeah. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, on a more positive note, uh, my brother finally got con confirmation of uh, getting a place of his own with assisted living. So uh, from October on, he will be gone. And hey, Pizza, how are you doing? Hello, Pizza Lover! <clears throat> and yeah, welcome to the show, as always, and let's get started. And yeah, we... <clears throat> Again, I dropped the difficulty down since the... It, yeah. Since the, the selection did warn of uh, a lot more demons, and so far it has captured that promise. Yeah, I feel like if we did go with the same difficulties before, yeah, we would actually have struggled. Like, like, sure, a lot of that was harder at some points, but even yeah. further gets harder at higher difficulty. Okay, now I see what we're doing. We're getting these seals. Or... Okay, we need two seals, though. Why is there room for four? If there's going to be another two on that. And let's see. So, hi, how are you? Um, all right. Eat the dog so yesterday. Well done, congrats. And up. Uh, I know my Okay. Speaking of father, there's a bunch here. There, give me armor. Ammo. I accidentally mixed up with the words ammo and armor, I think. <laughs> okay, cuts you down to size. And yeah, we're, we're in the Blood Swamps, which were mentioned during the main campaign. And basically, we, we're looking for <laughs> we're looking for the the ball that uh, God uh, God has been locked into. Uh, also, I was off with my count uh, during the last stream. Uh, it was I was actually at seventy uh, <laughs> bonks by the time I started the count. So, yeah, it was one higher than that. <laughs> and... Yeah. You're, what the number now is up to is... Yep, no, yeah, it's still up to the tour one. Yeah, I'll say when we get the next bonk, that is. Uh, and also, I know something about the trees that are kind of disturbing. Yeah. They have spines. Uh, yeah, that's a bit spinal-like. Okay, just going to leave that turret to its own stupidity. Okay, what's going to be the challenge around here? That's the going to be the challenge. Okay, where is the stupid thing? The stay from Pizza Lover! I am doing New Game Plus and there is an enemy which will not let me pass. And it's too hard for me. Yeah, is it Gandalf? Uh, damn it, Hillian! I was to make it here! Ah, fuck. 
Oh no, a, a buff of these bastards. Get rid of the damn dog. Okay, at least buffed. Oh, oh yep, that was surprisingly easy. Okay, is that enough? There we go, get him right. There we go. Okay, I need to go find something to chainsaw. It is just a dead end. Is there really nothing? Ah, there. Yep. I didn't need the flames or to point that out, okay. Uh, let's see. Uh, uh, now it's a dragon, and every uh, time I get on a bridge, he is guarding. He shoots flames, which almost insta-kill me, and if I shoot an arrow and he comes to me, he keeps on spamming the same move over and over. Uh, so he's that kind of a uh, tournament player, huh? Oh, I really know what that is. Yeah, there, there's one of that's one. <laughs> there's many reasons why I <laughs> why I don't play. Oh, you're possessed. Okay, that means we swap to this one, and then we deal with you. Okay, going to need a more direct approach. There. Okay, ghost busted. Ooh, really? I think we're gonna find it funny. Usually, demons are the one doing the possessing. Yeah, now they're getting possessed. Yeah, it's, it's, it's quite comical. Yeah. Okay. Now, what is with this here? Why is there an outline of a box here? show that that needs to go there. Okay. Hmm. Nothing I'm missing? Nope. You're not the zombie. In uh, fact, technically you are, but not the same as the others. You're more annoying. No, not enough ammo for that. Okay. Oh. Let me just deal with you. Uh, th those things I will drop you. down even if we're no longer look aiming at them. Oop. So the description of them wasn't completely accurate. There. Okay. Is there anything of actual danger? And 91. Yeah, we're almost at 100. <laughs> And 92. Unless my count was off, of course, but... <laughs> I think... I think I've gotten all of them. Okay, why is that block... Why is that red? Hmm. 
Good question. There's something oh, I'm missing. Some... Fire. We are in hell after all. And let's see, Pizza. Okay, um, the move being jump in the air and shoot fire below so I can't hit them. Yeah, how dragons actually should <laughs> fight in a lot of D&D. Are we... Are they really counting these guys? Okay, 93. And no, 94. Yep. Okay, really for a lot... Okay, that's the first time in a while that they've actually counted the zombies as actual threats in part of the, uh, the encounters. It's Squidward! Let's deal with your shield like this. Ammo. Uh, only this guy? Nope, there's some zombies. I got me see. Thought it would take a few more <laughs> rockets than that. Okay. Okay. Uh, now that that's done, that was a bit odd. Just, just a Doom Hunter. Hmm. Okay. Yep. <laughs> we buried him before we even finished the animation. Okay. And then for the you will be so big that that one was enough. Hmm. Nothing I'm missing. There's a secret encounter there and some BFG ammo up ahead. Possess. Okay, that explains a thing or two. Still, there we go. Okay, and the specters as well now. Okay, makes sense with the with the mist and such, since they can hide a lot better in that. So it also makes them rather obvious. There you go. Is it on? It's an hour. There! We just ran past them. I guess it's meant to drag them. Okay. Come on. Another one of you. Okay, it's, it's a bit surprisingly easy that they just that they only need three rockets after they've uh, been dislodged. Okay, now I'm getting a bit tired of this mo uh, moss <laughs> of this fog. Okay. Also, why am I going to stop? Let me see. 
settings. Yes, yes, loading. Uh, game. Did it just get stuck? It is responding. Okay. I am concerned. I think at least we hit a... Uh, <clears throat> I think we at least hit a checkpoint somewhere along there. But there's no reason for the game to be stuck on the load screen to the settings. Let's see. CPU 50%. GPU 35%. Dipping down from 100. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. Not going to wait any longer on that. That's a first. Yeah. Okay. Weird. Start up again. If we have to redo a bit of a fight, then so be it. And I can't skip these. I don't know why it gets stuck for like half a second there. Okay, bit of advice for game developers: make these uh, make these skippable, or you're just going to piss off people. Yeah, most most developers do that. But there will always be one that one exception. See. Okay, what is up with that? Did they, did they take down the server or something? Because they're Everything just works. I have my internet, otherwise I wouldn't be able to stream at all. Uh, not there. Here. Hmm. Okay, let's just look. Hmm. Okay. Wait. Okay, uh, let's see, video, restore defaults, you back to windows. Okay, that's see, it's still there some, okay. Weird. And yeah, we're going to have to redo the fight in here. Oh uh, well. We recording. Yes, we are still recording. Wonderful. Okay, that's at least that thing disarmed. Okay, specters aren't here yet. Okay. Wait, did, did it? Did it regain that? I'm pretty sure I hit it and... Uh, oh, okay, apparently it's immune to weak spot damage. Or its weak spot is immune to being destroyed while it's possessed? That's new. Oh. There, and now these have appeared. I guess that kind of makes sense, but that makes them a bit more of a challenge. It is also something that wasn't actually explained. There. Okay, now you. Blood punch that thing. And a rocket or two to be certain. And okay. Three was enough last time. Hmm. Okay. No. 
here we go again. Okay, that's just going to open and close on its own, or is that actually from this? So where is that? Over there with the torch? Okay. Overkill, yeah. <laughs> okay. Let's see. Okay, block goes here. Where is block? I'm starting to get a bit tired of these things. Oh. Tyrants. Now we've got invisible whip splashes as well. Get over here. the one I was after, but I'll take it. There you are. <laughs> that was actually enough to... Oh. Okay, I see what the trick is. You can't lock onto them. Uh, is there not going to be any explanation about why these are invisible? Yeah, they that. So there was water here deep enough to swim for some reason. I see, there's just something hidden. There we go. Okay. Now, what is actually in this secret? Hell Knights. It's not much of a secret. Oh. And the Mancubus. What secret are they guarding? Okay, some more lore. Let's see. Deep in Hell lies the ink. Um, in lies the Ingmore Sanctum, a fragment of Urduk itself. It is sacred and protected ground that contains the Tomb of Souls, where the life spheres of the many gods the Father created are stored. Each one immensely powerful in its own way, yet judged to be flawed by the Father. The stories of their abominable ends are in, in the physical realm are many. It was from here the Father first created the, the, new, <clears throat> the new dimension of Jakkad. It was here he formed Davoth. And it was this ground that served as his first workshop and as a retreat from Urdak, where the father could direct the engine of creation and oversee Jakkad's gleaming spires and, of, and glorious civilization. Samur could travel to the Sanctum, but never into the Jakkad. The father would keep his realm separated. After creating Jakkad, the father retreated to his workshop to plan the Earth realm. It was also here that the father meditated on the future of existence and made his plan to withdraw from the physical world. Okay, so Samur can travel here, or was could in the past. Hmm. I'm guessing the bear. No. I believe there was something earlier about the how the semi <clears throat> about how the seraphim couldn't enter into here from the start for some reason. But why could he then? 
And why can't he now anymore? Or was... Hmm... Just a, a bunch of questions and little answers. Shot that clean over his shoulders. Yep. Okay. Why did the game get deselected there? Hmm. Okay. What? I had the task manager open again this time, so maybe that was the cause. But at one point it was the chatty program, so I don't know. There. Oh. We'll call the first one there a warning shot, not that it could see it. Quite literally. Okay, now what is this trial going to be about? As if getting here wasn't enough of one. Okay. So we just need to get rid of that, the covering end of the door. It's going to be parkour again, yes. Uh oh. ah there is next. Okay. There. Come on. Okay. There. Okay, this time I did register the double jump. There. Yeah. Wouldn't really call that much of an obstacle, but okay. Okay, I thought the whole point was to get that raised up, but it'll just open at the end anyways. Okay. Or was it more for just the covers on the pillars or something? Sure. And I hear... Yep, Pinky. Can hear you. There. Hey. Okay, now we're back to platform with these. We haven't actually seen these things much since uh, the first few levels. In it. Okay, why does it not recognize the double jump sometimes here? Since, like, the, one of the first few levels in the main campaign. Spinning ones? Yeah. I don't remember those at all. Out of double, yeah, no, not out of double jump, out of dashes there. Okay, there's a platform, there's a climbable wall up there, but I'm guessing we need to head over there instead. Let's just sit. I said sit on top of this for a second. Okay. I know monkey barring is fun, Slayer, but don't just do that on your own. Okay, yeah, here. Okay, they they could have they could have given a better view of that. Mm. 
Another bonk. I'm here you. Okay, oh. that was decently easy for an empowered one. Okay. Hmm. Okay, there's where the arena is. That's one of the fires lit, or at least re lit red. Okay. Uh, hello. Let's see. The Seraphs speak of a time that Jakarta gloried in an age of unparalleled bounty and achievement at the dawn of Davot's authority. But Davot came to tighten his rule uh, to drive near, uh, to drive even more resources to the gods, uh, yeah, Jakarta's greatest minds as they hunted the secret of everlasting life. He harshly punished deviation from this goal, for he was unrelenting in his quest to safeguard his people. Jakarta's unrestrained mind slipped into ruthlessness and obsession. The vote's perfect realm would you know, be sustained, no matter the cost, for none in Jakarta could accept failure or embrace pain. Believing Jakarta rejected, uh, be believing Jakarta rejected by their creator, hate grew within Davoth. The uh, card fell further into inequity as Davos consumed all the realm in pursuit of his goals, and the father sorrowfully sealed Jakarta away from the other realms. The primeval, created to protect and shepherd the people of his realm, stoked an eternal fury towards the father as more of his people fell to mortality. He became the Dark Lord and raised against the walls of Jakarta. Okay, so yeah, we got that right. Jakarta was, or is, hell. The father sensed this and knew they both needed to leave the physical realm before their warring lieutenants tore creation apart. It was then that the father returned to Jakarta, now called Hell by many. Atop the pyramid of the lost where Hell once worshipped the father, as the sky split and Hell trembled, the father ripped the Dark Lord's life sphere from his chest. He placed it in the Tomb of Souls, unwilling to obliterate the Dark Lord's essence entirely, as he had once favored the, as he had favored the Voth once. Samur then took the father's life sphere to the Luminarium, and for a time there was a stillness in creation. But now the Dark Lord whispers lies and deceptions about the father to his praying minions in hell, while he rages, trapped in the Tomb of Souls. For even without a physical form, gods may yet influence the realms. Okay, so that's why we accidentally haven't been facing the big, bo <laughs> the big boss, so to speak. He's kind of trapped inside a, <laughs> a Pokeball. Yeah. Do the head religion had ideas for doing that to meet other dark lords of hell? Which they have been mentioned at all times, but um, it, 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 I think they say that you saved it for, the, or for other games. Okay. Because after you've kicked Satan's ass <laughs> and folded him like laundry, there isn't really much higher to go, huh? Yeah, I think that's probably the reason. So hence, they maybe. Mm. May they, they be the in the prequel. I think it will be... I'm not surprised if it will be happen before he came to Arsene Dinner. Or even well, how it, it, it ends. Yeah, all of those are basically a creation myth and legend for this world. So yeah, it would be far before any time that the prequel could be set, unless they set, unless we play like some more or such. Uh, I think they would play Doom Guy, but I mean, like, uh, then the Doom Guy was in hell before I arrived. It tells you know, like, do you know it has to mention time jumps? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So probably right after Doom 2, uh, if you get what I mean? Like the original Doom 2? Yeah. But he's supposed to be that doom guy. Okay, what destroyed his first launcher there then? Oh, there we go. It's not a dream, but I've been doing it before today. Okay. Mm -hmm. Should 
pulled off from that one in case of spirits. Is there an archfall? Oh no, that was just the flames. Okay. Uh, I'm swollen. I think we all trial. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I, I hate no. them so much I can't even say their names right. No, no. You you hate them so much you actually gave them a name. I don't guess. Both wall is the one that I know you the most. Yeah. Yep. Uh, outside, maybe carcasses at the moment, since there were like, what, three stacked up there or something? And there's a new freaking totem and a tyrant. Actually, no, it, it, actually, if I do that whilst the totem is up, it'll just respawn. Well, I just had a terrifying thought. Hawk Wilds summoning groups of tyrants. Where is it? If there's one thing they could have just outright dropped, if you ask me, it'd be the freaking totems. Like, keep the effect, but only on Archwild revived and the spirits. Where the hell is it? Uh. Like, the only thing that buff totems lead to is a freaking Easter Bunny hunt like this. Because fighting anything is useless while it's up, since they'll just respawn. Where is it? I've gone around this place three times now. There. If there were more of a sign of where they were, then okay. Uh, they are not supposed to be alive after a BFG hit. Here's a second for you. Can I actually... no. Me out. Possessed, so saving the ammo. You know what? Also, it's a good way to <laughs> make sure that the spirit doesn't possess anything else. Kill everything else. Actually, let's leave that one back. Life. I'm gonna see. Get back here, you. I want to see if the spirit would possess a zombie. Or is the game just spawning these ads now? Overlay, I also hear that I spoke in my weird Swedish way. I don't know where I got the term splat with m uh, splat by moose from. Uh, it means splat with mash. Okay. Like mashed potatoes.
Yeah, oh, okay, there goes my plan. I just remember another weird phrase where you an actual weird phrase where you Swedish. Because I never understood where it came from. Uh, let's see. Are you regenerating because or something? It basically means... Stop flailing... Uh, stop swinging around like a windmill. These are... <laughs> well, they are always aggressive. They're... Okay, enough. Okay, th this mod can also sort of serve as a yeah a health bar check on enemies. Get rid of all of you. One more. Somewhere. There we go. May you serve the makers in all their glory. This yeah. would complete the shield. The shield. Okay. Hold it. <laughs> nope. The trial of Melagon. Shoot the eye to damage and temporarily stun. <laughs> really? <laughs> Once punch and stun, punch the eyes in. Yeah, the eyes. Eye into the shield. Yep. We're going to be fighting a box. Okay. Uh, I... but now is not the time for empowered. Or is the. Oh, you're fighting through it. I inside the box. Wait, is it Jack? Jack in the box? I think there's supposed to be more than just an eye in the box. And that's why I ask you if it's Jack. Jack in the box. Okay. Uh, no longer out of ammo. Pandora's box? I swear, would it be point that the both of Pandora's box in hell? <laughs> Not much. <laughs> okay, this thing is like being annoingly on. Like, you know what happens if you open Pandora's box on Earth? What the heck does that happen on, in hell? Uh, house party? Perhaps. A bit of you. It would be funny if <laughs> punch if it were to land and crush something. Uh, it can. But we had seen the, the boxes crush foes before. Okay. There we go. Can we? No. I need ammo for that first. 
So. Can we hook these things? No, it doesn't lock on. Okay, it's just going to keep spawning you, huh? out there we go okay now we get fast for one lock yep. if that wasn't locked last level I didn't notice it okay let me guess this is going to bring big boy alive It's totally waking up. Hello. <laughs> okay, that was just your horn. Okay, I thought it was the whole body. <laughs> and you're just the Uber. Yeah. I think it knows better than to pick a fight with Slayer. Well, he knows that I just have one job. I just gotta do it and I go back to sleep. <laughs> there, we have finished the main game. Yep. Hello. You said you couldn't go here. You've lied before. You're lying again. What well, is he going to touch it? Yeah, he said he couldn't go here in the first place. Yeah. You're not giving the Slayer much reason to actually do what you want. Oh. Yes. There. And now for number two. You feel you are prepared now for this. This is the Dark Lord's life sphere. He'll take physical form if you do this. Okay, so we are going to pick a fight with Satan. To take a life sphere, destroy the life sphere in blood swamps. Okay, not not sure why that isn't popping up on the stream, because it's 
it should be well I, I checked before it's it is set to record third party stuff okay seems we missed another one okay yeah that's of no interest since that's just that uh, re reward thing okay oh the holds the slayer returns to Urdach, carrying not the father's life sphere, but that of the Dark Lord himself. With the father betrayed by the slayer and Urdach in ruin, there is little hope for the once holy realm, a dying land of crumbling towers and infested with demons. The slayer has come to fight through the corpse of uh, paradise until he, <clears throat> until he reaches the Luminarium, where he can awaken his ultimate foe and finish this war once and for all. Okay. Well, uh... If God didn't want to get uh, crushed that easily, he shouldn't have made those life spheres so fragile. My God! Everyone, evacuate now! Assuming you want to use that orb to go to Erdak, right? This is an emergency. Please evacuate the facility now. So long as you have a life sphere, you can get through to Erdak. Your portal signature will read like you're one of them. Listen, whatever we do, I'm in. You want to wake the devil not so you can help the demons, it's so you can kill their leader once he's taken physical form. And that'll destroy all of them, for good. Right? Can I say again, I like this guy? Okay, I'll take that as a yes. I just want to be part of this. I mean, we're about to save the world. Dark Lord has only ever been written about. He's like a decillion years old and hasn't actually even been conjured into any kind of physical form for that long. Nobody even knows what he looks like. So, like I said, I'm in. Portal coordinates set for Erdak in the sixth region of the Equestrian Hold. All right, ready for launch, Doom Guy. Yeah, I think this is the very same I'm guy. <laughs> I think this is the very same guy who uh, approached us whilst we were in the in the, in the art facility. Yeah, I just realized he, he's the, the, the intern. The all of it. Yeah. The Dark Lord can't be killed until he takes physical form. They're going to have to accept you because anyone who earned the right to acquire a life sphere in the swamp are free to pass through into the Luminarium and insert whichever sphere they have. Effectively, you could wake anyone in there and they'll actually have to help you do it. It's not like they pay him or anything. <laughs> so he can just go to do whatever the hell he wants. Okay, this is a decently nice place. Or lost. Yeah, for the moment it still is because this looks mostly natural or like it belongs. Okay, how do we okay, we need to get there, I'm guessing from there, but oh there. Okay. Okay, guessing we're going to do a little trick then. Or be tricked. Oh. Bloodmaker. The Bloodmaker is a heavy demon that's invulnerable while its shields are on. The shield turns off during major attacks. Its head is a weak point. <clears throat> when the shields are down, shoot the head to instantly kill it. Okay. I thought it was T-posing. Wrong one. Got my stupid little drones as well again. There. Here's a little pester attacks. It will do nothing. Yep. Okay, that does do something, but it also gets them killed. There. In each, it looks like all makers pop like pinatas. <laughs> there we go. Okay. Oh, that also works. I I was thinking we. <laughs> we use the bar, turn around, and then dash back into it. Uh, that almost worked. 
there. And there. Okay, don't you pull that crap again? to turn in it how to turn an arachnotron into a pile of fireworks four dread knights and probably about half a dozen imps at the same time Sorry about that, but Hayden didn't g really give us a USB to stick you back into. Or a floppy, like in 2016. Yeah. Rita doesn't seem to be, seem upset. I think we've passed 100 now. If you want me to fight, throw something bigger than imps at me. As fun as they are as punching bags, they aren't exactly a challenge. Up oh, there's the challenge. I want to say, don't jinx it now. You and you it for dessert. Yep. Oh, right. Yep. Get rid of the armor first, then the guns become vulnerable. And there's something possessed. So works. I was trying to go for the guns. Okay. Pull on this. So, oh, hello. Going to dodge around. Come on. Your big fancy trick. Are you just going to be a pest whilst this thing keeps chasing me? Okay, in that case... Most likely. Uh-oh. Uh, now we do, huh? Whilst I'm busy. Okay. Uh, for a moment I thought I felt I'm gonna pit. Still got him. Oh, 
As you realize, have we got any journal entries from the, about these guys? Uh, we've got one on the blood makers, so we should probably check it in a second. Let's see, I believe there's at least one more. Yeah, games aren't important. But there they are. Oh, oh come on. There we go. Double disarmed. Oh, oh. Okay, three of you at once. Okay, I'll take that. Okay, and one of... Okay. Uh, let's see. Piss off you. Okay, if you want your duel... We can play spectator. Let's take the move of uh, Sigma high up and uh, interfering with the duel. <laughs> For that, well. It's gonna hose him down, top to bottom. Okay. And there we go. There. Okay, let's see here from uh, a pizza lover. Ooh, the sound of Shango is very satisfying. Well, what like it's when it's firing normal or when it's firing like this? <laughs> uh, yeah, which of the version do you find the most satisfying to hear the pizza lover? Going to waste that on imps. It's oh, we passed by the Slayer key, but oh well. That's it. Very tiring in the second mood. Okay, gotta agree there. We <laughs> okay, there's instrument action. Oh, now you. Now I've got your attention, huh? Is this it? So to check out oh. the thing, yeah, okay. Make sure. <laughs> yeah, there's something satisfying with the. Whatever it's fire, it's not a normal bullet, it's firing. Not anymore. Yeah, I think its description does say that it's basically a rapid fire, a rapid fire railgun. 
Are you telling me they made a yeet? Rain gun! Rain gun minigun! I guess. Okay, here's the slave gate. Rail minigun, I guess. Yep. Where the heck? What did I see? That is from Tau. I'll take that. But this looks more like a normal minigun. Almost. Mm. Let's see then. Okay. Timber. Oh, what heck is the kill to my toes? Is that turn you into two the sauce? And uh, where's number two? That bear's number two. And there he goes. Okay, oh, what's no, the no, point? I remember bang. something random from uh, one of the Kill Tomatoes those movies. Who? Oh. Yeah, apparently it's a movie Tomato has been banned, so they replaced. But Pizza Industry he had a uh, story, so they have to be inventive. We have to replace pe uh, uh, tomato sauce with, like strawberry yam. Um. Okay. That was hmm. disgusting, doesn't it? Yeah. And I'm pretty sure Pizza Lover over there is screaming in terror of just the idea of replacing tomato sauce with strawberry yam. Ah, there we go. Okay. Hmm. Okay, from Pizza Lover? I am, yes. <laughs> oh, so no, something I know I have to wander. Are we if, wander? Yeah, if, uh, if Vega is the father, then what the hell was in the life orb? It's been a bit since we've the seen what I've to give a corporeal form? It seems to have aw uh, awakened him from realizing he's not an AI. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> we hit him so hard he tear it out of reality. Let's see. Up there. I'll get there. Hmm. Now I also remember another fact. Something recently discovered in Pompeii. You know where the volcano really? went up so long ago. There's also a totally painted picture of the earliest version of Italian pizza. Okay. Looks very okay. different from modern pizza, but it still looks delicious. Okay, can you, can you share that one uh, on the Discord? Uh, I guess it is. Tasting history when Max Miller made a video about it. Okay, don't think I know them. Oh, me and Ron talked about it the other day when we talked about the food called... nicknamed Chips on Shingles. Okay. It was apparently mil World War II military food. Hmm. Up there. Can I even make oh, yeah, that? I, I definitely recommend the uh, Tasting nope. History made Max Miller. Okay. It's kind of entertaining. Really expected uh, to make this from over. So would they use stone ovens to cook pizza? I don't know. I haven't watched the video yet. To, to pass it off. I've been saving Damn. it for some reason. Oof. I don't know if that was heard. I just heard you go oof. More, oh, yeah, that, that means I'm more for the very.
Rilos Burp. You know, one of those that comes deep. Yeah. Let's see. This large expanse of supernal nature borders the edges of Urdak, reflecting the state of the realm when it at first came into being by the effortless breath of the Father. Massive ivory uh, trees and crimson leaves intermingle with the singing data roots that spring from the ground itself, an undying land of beauty and serene calm. The makers, <clears throat> the makers once used these sacred groves to meditate before meeting the Father in the Luminarium. After the icon of sin awakened within Urdak, the forests of the hold have become infested and corrupted by hell, and the leaves now fall with shades of death in their branches. The old path to the, luminari to the Luminarium is overgrown and unattended, um, a forgotten remnant of the glories of Urdak. The holy temple of the Father remains silent as a crypt, an empty voice uh, echoing, <clears throat> echoing only the mournful winds that rise from the surrounding hold. Hmm. Yeah, and let's see about... Yeah, we missed one here. Is, have we found? Let's see. Whispered into existence in the first moment Urdak bloomed around the Father, the Numenarium is the first place of all places. It is the holiest of all grounds. No living being can draw blood in the Numenarium. Were they to do so, they would lose all access to the powers of resurrection. Blood has never been spilled on its pure and holy floors, no matter what faction walks between the doors, as the Luminarium is the last vestige of the power of the Father's peace in all the corrupted realms. Under its cornerstones, the quantum engines of creation stir. The vast interdimensional structures spin in and out of existence, and they give rise to the energy needed to split essence from physical form or to restore it. Here in the Luminarium, gods are reborn. Okay. And Bloodmaker. Okay, weak point heads. Weakness BFG. Uh, really, hitting the Bloodmaker with BFG damage will temporarily disable its shielding. Okay, nice to happen if you're already firing it at something else. Uh, shooting will go down with activating his major, major attacks. Taking damage from the Bloodmaker's major attack will slow you down. Okay, so avoid getting hit. Maker Angels, a devoted and distinguished higher caste within Urdak, were corrupted and mutated by the waking will of the, of the Icon of Sin. Now branded by the Icon's wrath, Bloodmakers move amongst the demons freely as Hellfire courses through their veins. Retaining their staffs and hurling them with Thunderbolt force to harry their prey, the Bloodmakers scour the dead skies of Urdak in unholy mockery of their former home. Okay. Oh. Uh, how does that add that the drones are doing the same? Or are they corrupted as well? Yeah, uh, I think they are, might even become, become corrupted as well. For I was thinking so they look different until I can see them awaken and they turn different color. Yeah, the, the drones remain the same. We saw, we saw a few get zapped as it woke up, but nothing beyond that. Also, are, are we really expected to make this jump? Because it seems to be longer than we can actually do. And apparently that bit of the tree isn't even physical. Hmm. Yeah, but now I have that song stuck in my head again. Yeah, we, we just can't reach that. Donk. Is there something supposed to pop up or something? Or something in between that I'm not seeing? There's something around the corner, but that's even further away. Yeah, I'm... Okay... I'm really not seeing how we are supposed to be able to do this. And that was accidentally double dashing at the same time. I, I see nothing in between to jump to, nothing to swing from. But, but, what? Okay, we were supposed to punch it into a separate location. That could have been made more obvious. What? I'm guessing a symbol showed up on the side of it, but if you're going to point here, people are going to look here, not on the other side of the tree that's in a 
absolutely tiny little bit of land. Uh. Yep. I press E. That the f okay, what is that? That actually looks like one of those heads that we found at the, the sanctum. Or that we're is that over the sanctum. Eyeball? It looks like a, a head of a sleaze stack. Two up, that's new. Uh, oh, for those people who don't know, sleaze stack are from uh, the old series of Land of the Lost. Which was two different series than made the, a move of. Nothing else there. Okay. Hmm. I have to say I'm a, a bit annoyed. But more of you of invisible fuckers. I'm a bit annoyed that they put some of the lore pages in secret areas. I'm, yes, I'm pretty sure uh, most of the, or all of the previous ones were found just if if not out in the open, then close by. <laughs> but not yeah. in outright secret areas. Uh, it shouldn't be hidden in secret areas, but that actually make it kind of Actually, hold the story in a way. Yeah. This probably hurt this review a little bit. So some people only play this for the sake of uh, blowing up demons, but there are other people who do it both that and for the story and the lore. smiling a caucus hello okay this looks a bit like the arena for uh, the spider masterminds This is going to be a fight with aerial demons. Okay. Yep, completely missed. Another miss. We're going to have to fight for every one of these that we activate. Carcass! I see you there. Nine spirits in a single save. Okay. That's, that's a weird one.
There we go. Okay, now we can just get out. Okay. It felt a bit out of place. Yeah. Uh, that's the that must be the luminarium. It's clear that I am what was known as the father. While I have indefinite access and understanding of this world's systems, I lack the control over them necessary to remove the demons. And reseal the void. Without a physical form, I am merely a presence. I have no recollection of myself. I believe my essence from the sphere could return me to my full faculties. Hmm. He clearly doesn't know what you did in the swamp. Maybe he thinks you're here to help him. Okay, I'd rather not have to fight Vega. So he's been supporting of us all the way through, but I'm a bit unsure if he'd be so understanding of that. And here's the fight. Okay. Some more invisible. I'm just going to shower the entire area with <laughs> mini rockets. That'll help really deal with it. Yep, there we go. Hopefully. More. Wait for it to pop. What the? What? What the right on my end? Hmm? What? I can't see the game. I can see it will be here, but I can't see the game anymore. Okay. The... The... I can't see you and me either. The... There you go. Oh, what the hell? Okay. Okay, I'm seeing nothing that popped up or anything. So yeah, that was random. I wonder if I was about to get in that cutscene and realize I could still hear shooting and nothing has happened. Yes. Oh, hello, I'll take that. Let's hear from Pizza Lover. Do acting up again for all? Y'all? And uh, more Discord for some reason. More of. Wait, again, I could see UBS. Just could not see you, me, or the game. 
Okay. So OBS and or Discord. Oh, hello there. Yes. I'm taken care of. Oh, come on, fucking. Uh. Yeah, I suspect that the totems might be one of those things people did already. Uh, oh, wait, it wasn't just the totems part of the order in the main game. Yeah. All it causes is for a fucking wild goose hunt all over the place. Yep, got him. Actually, yeah, just... It looks like there are original uh, glory kills for the drones. It's just that they're very similar to others. Are it three of them? Did not mean to pull that one out again, but okay. And that was probably a little bit overkill since it was barons instead of tyrants or such, but oh well. Okay, let's see to how he reacts. But there seems to be a codex nearby? No, it's a secret encounter. There is ah. a secret we missed over there. Let's see, there's supposed to be four more codex entries here. We're not seeing any over this way. Yeah. Unless a... that's one of them. Th there's no false travel in this. Yeah, we're not to the end yet, so it's not unlocked yet. Hmm. Yeah, we'll have to go looking back for that one then. For now, we've got an egg to crack. Uh, is that supposed to do anything? Really? I'll take the armor, but the encounter can wait. There. Hello. Okay. Too low. There we go. Okay, there's more stuff over there, but we need to go this way first. Oh. Let's see. Yeah, we missed. That secret is one of these. Let's see. Oh, hello. Is that a sentinel or is that the slayer? 
The servers remember when uh, re the servers remember that when the Dark Lord's lifeless body tumbled down the pyramid of the lost, Samor begged the father to crush the Dark Lord's life sphere. Samor saw that they could destroy the Dark Lord's very essence so that he could brood no longer against the father. The father refused. The Dark Lord was his creation, and it was better to leave hell contained with the Dark Lord reduced to whispers. If it came to pass that the Dark Lord were ever reincarnated in physical form, only another primeval um, <clears throat> or something more powerful could slay him. Once vanquished in this manner, the Dark Lord could no longer rule hell. Stripped of a primeval uh, bindings uh, to the realm it was forged in, it would be scattered across the stars. Any denizens of hell not inside the realm's border yes, would die as they lost their connection to the very reality the Father designed for them for. Okay. Makes it put into context what Doomguy is planning, eh? Yep. Though, so why does the Dark Lord have a crucible? Might be in his originally. Could be that the. Uh, <clears throat> could be that the Night Sentinels adopted it, maybe through whispers of his or something you are here to restore order to my world with the demons in control you understand the threat they pose to all my creations he doesn't seem to know you have the dark lord's sphere now oh, great where is oh right a possessed type errand Miss. Have a carcass to put down. Okay. Putting the secondary down first. So the other has nowhere to flee in case I miss it. What is... God, it's just shockwaves putting me around. There we go. <laughs> Get down here. And head off. Nope. There, that belt. Oh, come on! Deal with you before you get your shield back. Oh, come on! Okay, that should give me enough ammo, maybe. Probably not. Nope, not enough. But this might. And if not, then I think it only has the zombie deck to possess. <laughs> Okay, he's not going to have a zombie to possess in a moment once we have fuel back. I'm not going to let that. Is this okay? Yeah, it, it is possessed. There. Now, let's continue the cooking. There we go. I, I don't think we left it anything to possess. Okay. You say that, then suddenly pizza lovers pizza gets possessed. <laughs> That's the whole fire. Possessed pizza. Okay, surprise pinkies. 
I actually see someone dying uh, to that. There we go. Can we cut it out with all the pinkies? Uh, time to get it confirmed that these... Come on. Yeah, those refill blood punches. Get me. Yeah, they were coming to get me there. Yep. Ow. Someone else did. Yeah, I was hoping to get them caught in the blast. Wait, but what would that, uh, uh, that happen if you burn them? Or some other special attack? No, uh, I. Getting the pinkies caught in the Mancubus's explosion. Oh yeah, I guess that there might be more options. There will be a room full of pinkies and uh, arachnoids, or whatever they are called. Arachnotrons. Yeah, arachnotrons. It says it will be basically the problem of a pink and a brain. See? Lower that way. Okay, I can't see what that is linked to. Okay, it, it activates that. How do I get there? In turn? Help, yeah. please. Okay. Showing the thing on the other side to open this up. Again, these should not be in secret areas. Okay, Seraphim. After the father ordered the Seraphim to hide his uh, life sphere within hell, Samuel Maker followed his final wishes and withdrew into the shadows of history. Traveling uh, to the earthly dimensions, he used his power to establish secret, con uh, secret control over the growing USC organization and implanted his consciousness into a cloned body in order to move among the humans more easily as Dr. Samuel Hayden. The father had foreseen that the humans would soon discover the gift of Argent Energy on their own and knew that they could only survive the coming onslaught if Samur took the direct control of their operation. Using the secrets of Maker technology, the father's mind was processed and reformed into the complex AI known as Vega, so that he could continue to exist among his creations and safeguard them against hell. 
Separated from his divine essence, Vega operated without full understanding of what it once was in order to hide its true nature from the Dark Lord, who wished to subvert his power. Together, Vega and Samur guided humanity into a new golden age. Of, you know, a golden age of dependence on one thing, uh, which there was then you know, rug pulled from underneath them by you know, Olivia Pierce. So, so much for all-knowing, uh, huh? Okay, Smur transferred okay. his consciousness once again, this time into a technological, technological shell of UAC design, enabling him to sidestep ancient laws and enter hell during the earliest human expeditions. Okay, that explains that. He located and took possession of the Slayer's sarcophagus, knowing he would be the key, and he would be key to stopping the coming conflict. After aiding the Slayer in the war against hell, the Seraphim's original body was reclaimed. With the father's life sphere destroyed, Samur can no longer stop the transfiguration from corrupting his body and mind. Betrayed by the Slayer, the Seraphim knows that his will and clarity will soon give away to mutation. Okay, that... So Wait, all of that uh, argent, uh, argent energy is needed and such was an act? It doesn't feel like it was an act, so... I, they knew it was coming and it was just going on, so I guess... It could have gotten way worse if they did not interfere. Mm. But yeah, I guess Olivia Peace was the one in the end escalating it. So I guess we did get our answers uh, uh, for the puzzle piece that didn't fit there for so long. Uh, I'm guessing. But yeah. It's an. It was an act. And, uh, Explain it somewhat, but I'm still not fully buying it. Yeah, it might not be in the best way, but again, imagine if Shaman Hater had no interest over it at all. They probably would have opened uh, the, the gates of hell on Earth way earlier. And he did intentionally go and find Doomslayer as well. True. I guess we're okay, so over. Uh, right, they're gonna discover this energy anyway, so let's you let's use them to use it but only certain controls until we find him, the slayer. Of course. to hear a pro talk in this game. Okay. Okay, it's turned white again. Oh, I think I see what's causing that. Uh, let's see. If I go here... You can see again now? I can see again, yeah. What was causing okay. it? Okay, it's the pop-ups from uh, Discord, because for some reason it won't activate streamer modes. So it, when it, there's a pop-up there, it, the taskbar comes up. And that gets overlaid uh, over OBS, which then causes the whiteouts. Oh. Is there any way to turn it on manually or something? Let's see. Or, wait, uh, another way is, of course, just go over here and, yeah, do not disturb. Yeah, that should block it out. And again, I don't know why it's just not activating on its own. We are coming towards the end of the stream, though. Okay, yeah, now we have fast travel. Hopefully it works as intended next time. Ooh. Let's see. The Father, the creator of all things... Sir oh, right. Uh, 
to answer my own question from earlier, the life for uh, the life sphere contained the essence of his physical form. So yeah, yeah that was in there. I'm guessing what uh, I'm guessing what Doom guy or Hell <laughs> Doom Slayer is going for is uh, just get rid of both sides. Let uh, the humans decide their for their own and not have like someone above trying to pull them in one way or another. Because oh well, <laughs> the father was in, was involved in the creations of uh, of the demons. So I'm guessing in his eyes. Uh, they're also just you know, responsible for all the death and carnage of the demons. Let's see. The creator of all things served as the guiding light for the makers of Urdak for untold eons before vanishing from their realm. Ageless and formless, the logic and power of the father gave birth to untold dimensions and worlds, giving rise to innumerable species and civilizations. Regarding Hell as a failed creation, the father ordered his most loyal servants to remove his life sphere from Urdak and hide it away within Ingmore's sanctum as his consciousness was reformed into the AI known as Vega. As Vega, he could, in secret, continue to watch over his creations on Earth while obscuring himself from the Dark Lord, whose war against his creator is an unending. unending. <clears throat> His spirit and mind divided, the father can no longer take physical form after the destruction of his life sphere by the Slayer. His presence remains within existence, immutable and immeasurable, observing as the consequences of the Slayer's actions drive destiny forward. Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah, was it the, did it have already been told most of this info? Was that a great overview of what we've been learning so far? I think so, yeah. Let's... It would be nice if... Oh, okay, I can turn this. Let's see. Okay, Maker Pillars. Let's head over there so we can find the missing page. And apparently just get yeeted across the room. Okay. Yeah, it, it feels like parts of this aren't as polished as others. Yeah, might be the, the reason why people were a bit critical. Call. No, wait, was it this released during the pandemic? Not sure. I think it was before. Okay, here we. There we go. Less, less of a secret this time. I just overlooked it. Okay. The engines of creations are uh, it, the engines of creation are not metaphors or poetic words, but structures that lay just on the other side of reality itself. Under the luminarium, they breach the void's walls to touch the physical world. Hell's machine can pull a soul from its body and process it into argent, but hell can't return a soul to a body. It will never resurrect what it ha has consumed. It takes energies far more exotic than any hell controls to not just cleave a, a being's essence from its body, but reincorporate it. Hell's machines are toys to what lies under the Luminarium. <clears throat> the Seraphs proudly control the East Forces, uh, calmly, <clears throat> calmly manipulating the nature of creation and minds to give life again to raw energy. Every life sphere resurrected is a sign of Seraph power and competence. The realms age around the Luminarium, but the Seraphs will always stand as the greatest engineers of, uh, of the many dimensions the Father created. Okay. And let's see, is that all? Yeah, that was the last of the codexes here. So, to the Holy Chamber. And let's see. Yeah, there's a boss fight waiting for us. Should we save it for next time? I think so, yes. <clears throat> <Hi -hanger! laughs> okay, I, I think this might actually be the end of the DLC, perhaps, since after we kick Satan's ass around, uh, what else would there be to do in this DLC? That, that brings up the question, what's going on in the second half? Or is he just going to run off? Oh, you will see. You will okay. see. Okay. Now, <clears throat> uh, yeah, we're ending a little bit earlier this uh, than usual, Pizza Lover. 
Uh, because I don't think we'll be able to beat it in five minutes. Yeah, let's see. Well, it was fun chatting with you guys. Hope to see you soon. Bye. <laughs> see you next time, uh, Pizza. Not going to stick around for a raid, I see. Uh, be safe, Pizza. Thank you for joining. Okay. There we go. And uh, yeah. Yeah. change the screen share. Uh, there. The Twitch. Everything is muted, yes. Okay, let's see. <clears throat> We have Nico Silverado, who is playing Baldur's Gate 3. Karen I is also playing it, and so is Lenny Pertour. <clears throat> Let's see. Oh, it, it's like 1.30 over there. Okay. <laughs> yeah, you go sleep. <clears throat> yeah. Oh, yeah, sleep well. Then we have Hisaya Rozier, who is playing Fear and Hunger 2 Termina. I'm Nice is playing Tears of the Kingdom. Kuradust is streaming Deep Rock Galactic, but I think we rated them last time. I think so too, yeah. I'm a flanker is playing Crusader Kings 3. Chub, uh, Chubbers the Moon Seal is playing Breath of the Wild. Uh, Halloween is playing Road 96 again. And last but not least, we have Roko who is uh, streaming Dark Souls 2. Okay. Any of those sound in uh, interesting or shall we go to uh, someone else? Uh, let's let's go check someone else. Okay, we have Snipe and Wib who are is or are playing Destiny 2. Let's take a peek if that's a dual channel. <coughs> okay, that's that looks like a dual uh, a duo channel. We're going by the, the two portraits in the corner. Uh let's see. Next we have SR Butler, who is streaming Assassin's Creed 2. Mix, uh, Mixo Lydia is streaming Final Fantasy IX. Ezra Fox is streaming Borderlands. Flix Gaming Stuff is streaming Baldur's Gate 3. And last but not least, we have M2 and the Shadows, who is streaming Fallout 4. Okay. Mm -hmm. Any of those? Hmm. I'd say uh, SR uh, Butler or Mixo uh, Lydia, uh, since those are the smallest two. Uh, oh, <laughs> okay, apparently M2 has ended up somehow fighting a uh, Death Claw in the starting area. Okay, that feels like they. <laughs> I get the feeling they're playing around with the game. Oh. Yeah, what the heck? Uh, oh, yeah, they they also put one of the merchants in power armor. So, yeah, they're definitely playing with the console. Uh, let's see. Oh, uh, let's see. Yeah, uh... What was this one again? Oh, di okay, this one, yeah. <clears throat> I was thinking for a moment, was that the Final Fantasy with the horrendous fake laughing but no this is the one with the uh dark mage main character or something hmm. i forget their name oh, we can take that one the final fantasy one okay they are set to followers only chat so oh. okay then no then yeah it's a bit hard to say hi when there's oh when you need to follow, that feels a bit uh, iffy to me. So let's go with SR Butler then. Yeah. Okay. Uh. <clears throat> Copy the name, slash raid and paste. <clears throat> but before we start, of course, thank you everyone who has been watching now or later. Thank you, Pizza Lover. Thank you, Sen uh, thank you, Sensei for <laughs> for lurking, and thank you as always, Drakir. You're welcome as always, my friend. And yeah, uh, Saturday, of course, our weekend stuff with Evo Land and Dave the Diver. But yeah, until then, let's start the raids. And uh, yeah, thank you all again for watching. And until next time, have a nice day. And until then, be safe for the one and watch out for undead seagulls or demonic ones. Over horrible. <laughs>